Vice President Biden, Vice President. <laughs> that was a joke. I have friends who are aristocrats, I have friends who are upper class, I have friends who are, you know, working class, but I'm not working class, but I mix and match and then I go to see. Oh, no, no, no. I know. Trust me. I'm... You know why I tell him to do? Because you get beat this shit. Openness and democracy that have marked the history of this city. Amir missed me. Mm. I'm up here pretty close. Right, okay. The high whisk. I, 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 I think it needs a bit more of a fun. The high yeah. whisk. Can I see your hand? Did you go to any parties? That's not speculation. I didn't. Any? No. Were you ever invited? No. Yes, sir. <laughs> Mr. Camp? I mean, Camp, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Speaker. It's Boner. You can tell what's been on my mind. A former president blaming anxiety in office for his transgressions. You've been in a 15 round prize fight that was extended to 30 rounds. And here's something will take your mind off it for ten, a while. Modern Britain in all its diversity, compassion, and strength that was shared around the globe. And it said something about us. There is no Soviet domination of Eastern Europe, and there never will be under a Ford administration. Uh, I, I'm sorry, could I just. In the protective case, we should take the decision that we are talking about today. Значит, в противном случае вы предлагаете начать переговорный процесс? Uh, нет, я... Uh, uh, или, при, или, или признавать uh, суверенитет их? При, а я... я говорите, предлож... говорите, говорите прямо. Я при, поддержу предложение о uh, признании... При, поддержу или поддерживаю? Говорите прямо, Сергей. Поддерживаю предложение... Так и скажите, а, так, да, та а или нет. Да? Поддерживаю предложение о вхождении Донецкой и Луганской народных республик в состав Российской Федерации. Да, да, мы, об этом, мы об этом не говорим, мы этого не обсуждаем. Мы говорим, мы говорим о признании их независимости или нет. Да. Я поддерживаю предложение о признании независимости. Хорошо, пожалуйста, Спасибо. садитесь. Спасибо. Владимир Александрович. Have more people supporting me in the black community that announced for me because they know me. They know who I am. Three former chairs of the Black Caucus, the only African American woman that ever been elected to the United States Senate. A whole range of people. No, My point no, is that's not true. true. The other that's one is true. here. <laughs> I said the first. Thank I said the first Thank African American elected. <laughs> you need to have a president you can trust. Can you really trust Bill Clinton? Admiral Stockdale, your opening statement, please, sir. Who am I? Why am I here? <laughs> Russian elections are rigged. Political opponents are imprisoned or otherwise eliminated from participating in the electoral process. The result is an absence of checks and balances in Russia and the decision of one man to launch a wholly unjustified and brutal invasion of Iraq. I mean, of Ukraine. <laughs> Iraq, too. Anyway. Uh, what we're going to have to do, and I'll say this with all the respect I can muster, is convince my good friend, Senator Schumer, to, to go to Amazon, buy a spine online, and bring this bill to the Senate floor. In Latin America, countries over and over again, dictators have come along, they break the country, they've stolen the money, millions and millions of dollars, tortured and killed people. How do you propose to end that here in Cuba? Mm. Very easy not permitting that any dictatorship come again to rule our country. Dr. Ford has described you as being intoxicated at a party. Did you consume alcohol during your high school years? Yes, we drank beer. Uh, my friends and I, the boys and girls, yes, we drank beer. I liked beer, still like beer. 
We drank beer. The drinking age, as I noted, was 18, so the seniors were legal. Senior year in high school, people were legal to drink. And we, yeah, we drank beer. And I said, sometimes, sometimes probably had too many beers, and sometimes other people had too many beers. What we drank beer. We liked beer. My grandmother was named Tyler, but it turned out she was descended from a Richard Cheney, same the last name who descended, who landed in uh, Maryland in the 1650s. So we had Cheneys on both sides of the family. And we don't even live in West Virginia. <laughs> but <laughs> you can say those things when you're not running for re-election. Any moment now we'll be celebrating with the fly past of the National Police Air Service. So we'll just wait a moment on them. Владимирович, здравствуйте. Я студент и учусь в Санкт-Петербургском государственном университете. Хочу спросить, правда ли, что у вас много двойников? И еще, как вы относитесь к тем опасностям, которые несет в нашу жизнь искусственный интеллект и нейросети? Спасибо. Гражданин из Санкт-Петербурга не представился. Den ganzen Bereich der Medienindustrie äh, und der Filmindustrie, aber auch der Hochtechnologie, der Universitäten und vor allen Dingen auch zeigen, wie Deutschland und Kalifornien eng zusammenarbeiten. In respect of Joanna Cherry's motion L, revocation to avoid no deal, the ayes were 184, the noes were 293, so the noes have it. In respect of Dame Margaret Beckett's motion M, confirmatory public vote, the ayes were 268, yes. the noes were 295, yes. so the noes have it. He was running so hard that the two of us, by the time he hit me, probably carried 10 feet down the hill. I mean, this was an impact. My doctors have said that they've almost never seen six ribs broken in an assault. It's usually a car accident. He's been elected and he's said nothing. Now let him you speak. have said nothing for the last six weeks. You've gone into Parliament well, and you've played games. Well, actually, that's not it's true at all. It's completely true. Well, it's not true at all. You know we are, on the, we are on the verge the of getting a deal. We will get true. a deal. Well, I, I don't, I'm, with great respect, if the opposition want to do this, then it's why won't they the have opposition. an election? It is they, Dominic Cummings and you playing games with Parliament, playing games with the people of the United Kingdom. No one remembers who John Hancock was. But they know that that's a signature. Because he wrote his name so bigly, big and boldly. You just said bigly. bigly I, <laughs> I use big league. I was Good. right. Okay. Bias against minorities is, is a great insult to the men and women who serve in law enforcement. And I want everyone to know who puts on the uniform of law enforcement every day that President Trump and I stand with you. And it is remarkable. On this vote, the yeas are 230, the nays are 197, present is one. Article one is adopted. He's always calling me little Marco. And I'll admit, the guy, he's taller than me, he's like 6'2", which is why I don't understand why his hands are the size of someone who's 5'2". Have you seen his hands? 
They're like this. And you know what they say about men with small hands? I don't know who you were talking to, Secretary Clinton, but you were totally out of control. I said, there's a person with a temperament that's got a problem. Secretary Clinton. Woo, okay. <laughs> Let's, um, let, let. Come on, Mr. Hughes. Mr. Hughes, spit it out. Come on. There is no point in waiting for silence. The honourable gentleman isn't going to get silence. Produce your voice, Mr. Hughes. Romney wants to let the... He said in the first 100 days, he's going to let the big banks once again write their own rules. Unchain Wall Street. They're going to put you all back in chains. Well, we're going to have to hang the Obama misery index around his neck. And, uh, and, and I'll tell you, the, the, fact, the fact that you've got people in this country really squeezed with gasoline getting so expensive, with commodities getting so expensive, families are having a hard time making ends meet. So we're going to have to talk about that and, and housing foreclosures and bankruptcies and higher taxation. We're going to hang him with that, uh, so to speak, <laughs> metaphorically, with, uh, uh, with, uh, you have to be careful. My friends, it is a stitch-up. It is a stitch-up. Indeed, it is, a, it is the biggest, it is the biggest stitch-up since the Bayeux Tapestry. I have no more campaigns to run. My only agenda, <laughs> I know because I won both of them. Как вы понимаете э, демократию по-белорусски? Вы знаете, я же диктатор, мне трудно понимать демократию. Благодаря ему у нас есть писахат. За Горбачева! За Горбачева! За Горбачева! Sometimes nothing brings people together like a nice hot pizza from Pizza Hut. Rust first. New this morning, another magazine cover causing some controversy. This one is about President Obama after he announced his public support for same-sex marriage last week. Here's the picture on the cover of Newsweek this week. У нас знаете как говорят в народе? У нас говорят так: кому суждено быть поешенным, тот не утонет. And you don't care about anything but making money, there will be a giant sucking sound going south. So we, if, if the people send me to Washington, the first thing I'll do is study that 2,000-page agreement. Oh, 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 oh. Order! Let me say something that may not be great politics. But I think the secretary is right. And that is that the American people are sick and tired of hearing about your damn emails. Thank you. Me too. Me too. <laughs> you know? Oh, dus een eeuwig feesten. Wel, we gaan er vandaag vanuit dat dat evenementen zijn die terug zullen kunnen doen. Oh, oh, no. oh. Do you prefer Coke or Pepsi? 
Do you ask everyone this question or, <laughs> or not? No, I'm really it's funny because I am, again, this is, so I'm a massive, uh, so one of these things that not that many people know about me. So I collect Coca-Cola things. Oh, oh really? Yeah, yeah, I'm a Coke oh. addict. Oh, a oh, total Coke addict. addict. Yeah. Coca-Cola addict. Yeah, just for the record. I was going to say, just for the record, <laughs> just be totally clear. Uh, Both of you are proposing, both of you gentle, gentlemen are proposing extraordinary levels of borrowing. At the last election, we were told by your predecessor, Mr Johnson, that there was no magic money tree. Have you found a magic money tree, Mr Johnson? And have you found perhaps more than one of them, Mr Corbyn? No, we're, we are, we're operating... Money forest, he's got. Uh, we're, we're operating... You've been through the first presidency. You've been through January 6th. What would it mean if Donald Trump was re-elected president? I don't think it'll happen. The American people have gotten wise to him. <laughs> Took a little while, but they did. I don't think that we should talk about him while we're eating. <laughs> See? <laughs> really? Well, Another Trump presidency? You call Donald Trump, quote, insane. I think there's a need for an intervention there by his family or somebody. You know, I don't think he's on the level now. You know something? Not only are we going to New Hampshire, Tom Harkin, we're going to South Carolina and Oklahoma and Arizona and North Dakota and New Mexico. And we're going to California and Texas and New York. And we're going to South Dakota and Oregon and Washington and Michigan. And then we're going to Washington, D.C. to take back the White House. Yeah! Governor, we want to end on this um, shot. I believe this is your portrait, and it's caused a bit of a kerfluffle here. The one, <laughs> the one on the left, uh, well, first of all, neither of these look that much like you, I don't think, Governor, but what's the problem with the one on the left? You know, the, the left goes crazy about race, and I think this is such a silly argument. My point is... Because they think that the one on the left, you look too white. You know, this was donated by a constituent. Uh, I've never met the artist. Some might have noticed Kim's translator looking a little sheepish as he emerged onto the platform. And who can blame him? The last time Kim arrived in Russia, a different translator almost missed his cue, sprinting to catch up before his boss realized. I have far more experience than many others that sought the office of vice president of this country. I have as much experience in the Congress as Jack Kennedy did when he sought the presidency. I will be prepared to deal with the people in the Bush administration if that unfortunate event would ever occur. Senator Benson. Senator, I served with Jack Kennedy. I knew Jack Kennedy. Jack Kennedy was a friend of mine. Senator, you're no Jack Kennedy. Last week, uh, like him, I was in Brussels meeting with uh, heads of government and leaders of European socialist parties, one of whom said to me, No, 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 what they said, what they said, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, if the uh, party opposite would care to think for a moment about what's going on, one person said to me, and I thought it was quite profound, he said, we are discussing the future of a continent. The science is clear. The science is clear. Nine out of the ten hottest years ever came in the last decade. Now, I'm not a scientist, but I do know how to count to ten. Rising seas more violent storms. You got mosquitoes, sweaty people on the train, stinking it up. It's just nasty. I mean, look at, us what, look at what's happening right now. Every serious scientist says we need to act. The Pentagon says it's a national security risk. Miami floods on a sunny day and 
Instead of doing anything about it, we've got elected officials throwing snowballs in the Senate. Okay, okay, Mr. It's a, okay I, I think they got it, bro. I, it is crazy. <laughs> what about our kids? Okay, okay. What kind of stupid, short-sighted, irresponsible bull? Whoa, 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 hey! What? what? Okay, no, hey. What? All, all, all due respect, sir, you don't need an anger translator. You need counseling. <laughs> you know, I'm, I'm, I'm out of here, man. I ain't trying to get into all this. <laughs> Go. I think the next president needs to be a lot quieter, but send a signal that we're prepared to act in the national security interests of this country to get back in the business of creating a more peaceful world. Please clap. Multiple acts by the president that were capable of exerting undue influence over law enforcement investigations, including the Russian interference and obstruction investigations. Is that correct? Correct. Now, Director Mueller, can you explain in plain terms what that finding means so the American people can understand it? Well, uh, the finding I indicates that uh, the president uh, uh, was not uh, that the president was not exculpate, uh, exculpated uh, for the acts that uh, he allegedly committed. You already are the oldest president in history, and some of your staff say you were tired after your most recent encounter with Mr. Mr. Uh, Mondale. Um, I recall yet that President Kennedy had to go for days on end with very little sleep during the Cuba Missile Crisis. Is there any doubt in your mind that you would be able to function in such circumstances? Not at all, Mr. Truitt, and I, and I want you to know that also I will not make age an issue of this campaign. I am not going to exploit for political purposes my opponent's youth and inexperience. <laughs> Trump also unveiled a new nasty nickname for Kasich who has won victory in 41 Republican contests. You know, I have a new nickname for him. One for 41. As the FEC fundraising deadline for 2019 approaches, I am once again asking for your financial support. Ladies and gentlemen, the President of the United States of America, Barack Obama. We've openly, uh, Mr. Speaker, we've openly uh, said that, for instance, MIQ uh, was something that was very difficult at the time and that there were people uh, affected by it and that we would do things differently were we ever confronted with that again. But, Mr. Speaker, I stand by the work that we've done as a government over this last year and over this past term. We've always made decisions that we believe to be in the best interests of New Zealand yep. at the time. Yeah, yeah. Uh, question number five, Nicola Willis. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Also, um, my wife is Japanese. My wife is Chinese, sorry. That's a terrible <laughs> state to make. Uh, redo, redo the cameras. Um, no, my, uh, we spoke in Japanese at the state banquet. You 不是媒体啊
。但是呢，问来问去的问题啊，就 too simple。啊 ，sometimes naive， 懂了没有？那这样就是。Sometimes naive。Nosotros estamos trabajando tres. ¿Por qué no te callas? Por favor, no hagamos diálogo. Han tenido tiempo para plantear su posición. Friends, I present to you my friend, India's friend, the president of. The United States of America, Mr. Donald Trump. हम सब खड़े होकर के नमस्ते ट्रम्प, नमस्ते ट्रम्प. नमस्ते, नमस्ते. The life of Prime Minister Modi underscores the limitless promise of this great nation. He started out by his father's side as a Chihuahua, Prime Minister Modi, you are not just the pride of Gujarat. The great religious teacher Swami Vive Kamunand once said, <laughs> "Cricket players from Suchin Tendulkar to Virat Kohli. Nearly one in four Indian Americans trace their roots right here in Gujarat." Social Security, Medicare, and Medicaid account for about half of federal spending. A lie! Not the deficit! A lie! Just hold on. Not federal losing! About, a lie! Talk. About half of federal spending. And if we are ultimately, not just this year, but over the coming decades, going to be able to balance our budget and not spend more than we take in, we have to make sure that the promises we make in Social Security, Medicaid, and Medicare are promises we can keep. And there are various ways of doing that. One is we could raise taxes on people. That's not the way. That's corporations. corporations are people, my friend. We could raise taxes on. Of course they are. Everything corporations earn ultimately goes to people. So, where do you think it goes? Mr. Mr. Speaker, elect on behalf of the whole house. May I congratulate you on your re-election. At least someone got a landslide. <laughs> For the vast majority of people in the country today, they have never had it so good ever since this recession, so-called recession, started. Because anybody with a mortgage, most people with a mortgage, who are paying a lot of money each month, will suddenly start paying very little each month. When it comes to British food and drink, we have never. Had it so good. We import two thirds of our cheese. That is a disgrace. In December, I'll be in Beijing, opening up new pork markets. The party of serious government to the party of parties. Liz Truss. Has even crashed the pork market. Now that is a disgrace. It's precisely <laughs> what we're proposing. It has never been done before. It's been done a couple of times. Actually. It has never. Been Jack done Kennedy lowered tax rates, increased growth. Ronald oh, Reagan. Oh, now you're Jack Kennedy. Ronald Reagan. <laughs> Republicans and Democrats. I know it's the Christmas season and the pantomime season, but what do we see from the Labour front bench and the right honourable gentleman? He's going to put a confidence vote. Oh yes, he is. Oh no, he isn't. I've got some. I've got some news for him. I've got some advice for the right honourable gentleman. Look behind you. You asked me if you could make an announcement first, and I asked you for permission to make an announcement with the sound man. Please turn Mr. Reagan's mic off. Is this on? 
Mr. Green, you turn on the microphone. You asked for me if you would. I am paying for this microphone, Mr. Green. You at all concerned it's going to cause more anger among Muslims around anger. the world? There's plenty of anger right now. How can you have more? You don't think it'll look, exacerbate look, David, the problem? David, I mean, I know you're a sophisticated guy. The world is a mess. The world is as angry as it gets. Well, you think this is going to cause a little more anger? The world is an angry place. I had a large camping knife, and I tried to stab him in the abdomen. CNN reports they can't find his anyone clothing, from his past who remembers Carson clothes. being violent. He recalls an incident where fellow Republican Congressman Don Young got so angry with Boehner over Boehner's criticism of earmarks that Young held a 10-inch knife to Boehner's throat just off the House floor. Young told Politico Boehner's account is mostly true. I'm very grateful and want to thank all the people who have remembered me in their prayers and the kindness that I have, that you have extended to my family who's been here this week. <clears throat> my family and I are deeply sorry for all that Vice President Cheney and his family have had to go through this past week. We send our love and respect to them as they deal with, with situations that are much more serious than what we've had this week. When your vice president, Dick Cheney, when he shot that guy in the face, <laughs> did he, how did he tell you? Did he call you? Did he come in and close the door? You know, uh, how did that go down? What really irritated me about that is he shot the only trial lawyer for me in Texas. <laughs> That's right, the guy was a lawyer. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it, it was an unusual uh, period. Yeah, right? I would imagine so, yes. yeah. Did it ever seem funny at all to you? Well, every time uh, Cheney would come in, a lot of people would yell, duck. <laughs> a good Republican would defend Ted Cruz after tonight. That ain't happening. If you killed Ted Cruz on the floor of the Senate and the trial was in the Senate, nobody could convict you. In the book Peril, journalists Bob Woodward and Robert Costa write that the president said, quote, if these people say you have the power, wouldn't you want to? The vice president says, quote, I wouldn't want any one person to have that authority. The president responds, but wouldn't it almost be cool to have that power? Vice President is reported to have said, no, look, I've read this, and I don't see a way to do it. We've exhausted every option. I've done everything I could, and then some, to find a way around this. It's simply not possible. My interpretation is no. To which the President says, no, no, no. You don't understand, Mike. You can do this. I don't want to be your friend anymore if you don't do this. What's this poor chap here? Um, he's, he's a feet there, right? Yeah, a type of macaque, but yeah. Um, yeah. Right, we could leave him back there. Sir. The media calls us racist for wanting to build Trump's wall. They censor us, but it doesn't change the truth. Joe Biden's open border is killing Ohioans. Would you take this opportunity now to apologize to the people of Belarus for the human rights abuses that they've suffered at your hands? No, I would not like to take this opportunity. If I ever would, I would do that through the Belarusian media. What would be the point of doing it on CNN? I don't think this is a relevant question. And in principle, I have nothing to apologize for. I got to ask you a question. I do not uh, believe in, I can't trust Obama. I, I have read about him and he's not, he's not, he's a, um, he's an Arab. He is not. No, 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 ma'am, no, ma'am. No, ma he's a, he's a, he's a decent family man, citizen that I just happen to have disagreements with on on fundamental issues, and that's what this campaign is all about. He's not. Thank you.
I really wasn't planning on it. <laughs> I am sorry. Please excuse me. I know. Yeah. Now there's, there's an example of a brother just, just embarrassing you for no reason. Just embarrassing. Just for no say, reason whatsoever. I knew he was going to say something smart, but I didn't no. know what he was going to say. And now you'll be going back home and talking to your friends about it. I can't believe it. What's his name? Mike. I, I can't believe Mike. He is such a fool. He really, he really is. Oh, I was just mortified. <laughs> Fortunately, she's having a conversation with the president. Fortunately, the president was nice about it. I'm freaking out right now. <laughs> and, you know, so it's all right. Okay. You're going to kiss and give him talk about it. To me, it looks like the tip of a, of a, of a gigantic cocktail stick that's, that's emerging through the, yeah, the integuments of a, of a super colossal pickled onion. Dumps. They call them dumps. Big, massive dumps. He's about to go from commander in chief to couch commander. Are you Chuck Top. Corruptions, shouting and pounding on his desk. Oh, I think you can send a message to say, you want to be in America? A, you better be here legally or you're out of here. B, when you're here, let's speak American. I mean, no question, Western Pennsylvania is a racist area. And when oh, I say racist area, I mean, it, they, well, the older, older people are hesitant, you know, they slow and, and uh, uh, seeing change, real, real change. What I said was, was uh, I, I, I indicted everybody. That's not what I meant at all. What I mean is there's still folks that have a problem voting for somebody because they're black. This whole area uh, years ago was, was really redneck, particularly older people. They're hesitant. Uh, you know, they don't want, they want change, but they don't want to see things go too far. Senator Obama's supporters have been saying some pretty nasty things about Western Pennsylvania lately. <laughs> You know, I couldn't agree with them more. I couldn't disagree with you. I couldn't agree with you more than the fact that Western Pennsylvania is the most patriotic. You think that the American people deserve to know whether he's fit to govern by having his medical records made public? Look, I'm not going to pick on an invalid. <laughs> Just this one, sir. Promising, Majesty. Majesty. Lovely to see you again. Oh, it's a great pleasure. What's your read about Sarah Palin? Well, I sat next to her once, thought she was beautiful. And I think she's very happy in Alaska. And uh, I hope she'll stay there. <laughs> is totally backed by the leader of the opposition. Perhaps he can now tell us why. I don't think he's responsible for the question. We now come to the leader of the opposition, Keir Starmer. Thank you, Mr Speaker. Can I, I guess the question for both of us is what does the honourable leader of the opposition think about this? Because it's quite hard to keep up. Can, can, I, can I just remind the Prime Minister? It's Prime Minister's questions for him to answer. Not asking, not, not for what the opposition is doing. Stephen Flynn. After two days camping out in the bill office waiting room, Doherty, Chope and Bone are first in line. And they bag all the best time slots. Hello, how are you? I'm good. Thanks. I want a ten minute rule, Bill. Right. All the ones that came free today have been taken, I'm afraid. <sighs> They've been queuing on a rotor system since Tuesday morning and overnight in order to be here at 10 o'clock this morning. I'm just a failure. No, I don't think that's true. I didn't get it? pulled I don't want out you to go in through the your day members bill. With that attitude. I didn't get a 10 minute rule bill. I think, so frankly, you need to. I'm letting people down. <laughs> um, this this well, could spoil my weekend. I really hope it doesn't. That would be a great it, shame and possibly slightly out of proportion. I just wish I was better like everybody else. <laughs> I can't help it. Bonsoir, mesdames et messieurs. Je suis très heureux d'accueillir ce soir la première ministre. Le vent n'emporte que les feuilles, mais pas le reste. Voilà. <rires> Merci. <rires> Does the prime minister recall? that at the time after he became Prime Minister under the coalition, and at the time when he was dividing the nation between strivers and scroungers, yeah. 
I asked him a very important question about the windfall he received when he wrote off the mortgage of the premises in Notting Hill, and I said to him he didn't write off the mortgage of the one the taxpayers were helping to pay for at Oxford. I didn't receive a proper answer then. Maybe Dodgy Dave will answer it now. And by the way, Order, order, I, order, order. I must ask the honourable gentleman, order. I don't require any assistance from some junior minister. <laughs> An absurd proposition. I invite order. I invite the honourable gentleman to withdraw that adjective that he used a moment ago. He's perfectly order. He's perfectly capable of asking his question without using that word. It is up to him, but if he doesn't wish to withdraw it, I can't reasonably ask the Prime Minister to answer the question. All he has to do is withdraw that word and think of another. <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> Sorry? <laughs> I think he knows the word beginning with D and ending in Y that he inappropriately used. Davy. Davy or Davy. Withdraw. I know. I know what you're talking about. Very simple. Withdraw. This man has done more to divide this nation than anybody else. He's looked after his own pocket. I still refer to him as Dodgy Dave. Do what you like. You know what Donald Trump tweeted about that ad? He mocked uh, your son turning to you and he tweeted saying, just watch Jeb's ad where he desperately needed mommy to help him. Jeb, mom can't help you with ISIS, the Chinese, or with Putin. I don't need Putin help. endorsed him. I did notice that the right honourable gentleman had asked all his Twitter followers what questions he should ask me uh, this week. So I thought I would, um, I thought I'd look to see what sort of responses he'd received. <laughs> I have to say that the first one was quite good. In fact, he might want to make sure he stays sitting down for this. <laughs> Lewis writes, does she know that in a recent poll on who would make a better Prime Minister, <laughs> don't know scored higher than Jeremy Corbyn? <laughs> Just say aye. Okay, just Great, aye. <laughs> Thank you. Senator Durbin. Very, very quick stuff on your, yeah. on, your, on your personal lifestyle. What do you do to relax? What do you do to switch off? Uh, I, I, well, I like to paint. Um, oh, I make things. I like to... What do you make? I make... I have a thing where I make models of... I mean, when I was in like, well, Mayor of London, we build a beautiful... I make buses. You make models of buses? I make models of buses. See, they're going to be do, in Downing Street. So, so what I do... No, what I do make models of buses, what I, I make is... I get, I get old, um, I don't know, cr wooden crates. Yeah. Right? And then I paint them. And they, uh, and they have two... two uh, I suppose it's a, wine, it's, it's a box that's been used to contain two, two wine bottles, right? Right. And it will have... A, 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 a dividing thing. Yeah. And I turn it into a bus, and I, so I, pu I put passengers. You really want to know this? You're making, you the, you're making buses. Yeah, you're I making paint, cardboard I, buses. I paint, no, okay, I that's paint, what you do to enjoy yourself. I paint, no, I paint no. the passengers enjoying themselves. Okay, great. On the wonderful bus. Great. Low carbon, what? of a kind that we brought to the streets of London, uh, reducing if, CO2, if, if reducing you nitrous if, oxide, reducing pollution. If, if you weren't and, Boris and Johnson, if you weren't Boris Johnson, which what? other figure from history would you be? Uh, I would like to... Oh, I if would you like weren't to, born Boris Johnson. Um, well... Uh, I'm going to hear the questions. I don't want interruptions, please. It's very important. 
It is a very important topic, and I take it seriously. I hope members also wish to start taking it seriously. Prime Minister. Uh, 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 Mr. Speaker. know. The public know this is a man they can no longer trust. He has been investigated by the police. He misled the House. He must now resign. Order. You'll have to withdraw that last comment. Mr Speaker, I gave the evidence of the 8th of December. Uh, order. Order. You're going to have to withdraw misled. Mr Speaker, the Prime Minister has misled the House. Unless you withdraw, I will have to stop, and that's not good. Just withdraw the words. I am standing up for my constituents that know that this Prime Minister has lied and misled the House. Give me the paper. Give me the paper. Inadvertently misled. I'll give you one more chance. As leader of the SNP, I don't want to have to throw you out. I'm going to give you this chance. Please. Please to power. That man has misled the House. Shut up. I'm sorry it's come to this, and I'm sorry that the leader of the party has not got the decency to just withdraw those words in order that this debate can be represented by all political leaders. Would you like to inadvertently? If the Prime Minister has inadvertently misled the House, then I will state that. Right, we're going to leave it at that. My question to you is, you have refused in the past to talk about it. Are you willing to tell the American people tonight whether or not you will support either ending the filibuster or packing the court? Whatever position I take on that, that will become the issue. The issue is the American people should speak. You should go out and vote. You're in voting now. Vote and let your senators know how you strongly you feel. Let, vote now. Are you going to pack the Make court? sure you, in fact, let people know he doesn't you're want to a senator. The I'm not going to answer the question. Why because, would you answer that because question? Because the you question want to put is, a lot of the new question Supreme is, Court justice, the radical question, left. Will you who shut is up, your, man. Listen, who is on your list, Joe? This Who's is on your so list? right. Gentlemen, this is, I think this we've is ended so this. He's going to pack the court. We have ended. We're not going to give a list. We have ended. Mr. Speaker, the Queen commands this Honourable House to attend Her Majesty immediately in the House of Peers. Any Tory moles at the palace? <laughs> <laughs> Sergeant at Arms takes the mace. Amid some laughter after a, one of the expected comments from Dennis Skinner, the Labour MP. The valet had articulated that the president was extremely angry at the Attorney General's AP interview and had thrown his lunch against the wall. In 1349, when the Black Death affected this country, Parliament couldn't sit and didn't. The session was cancelled. Thanks to modern technology, even I have moved on from 1349, and I'm glad to say, and I'm glad to say that we can sit to carry out these fundamental constitutional functions. In my career, I've been told I was too young. By the way, they're going to let me on ascended elevators for votes sometime. They're not a joke. And I've been told I'm too old. Yes. How do you get TikTok banned if you use it? Well, I, I, I want to laugh at why Nikki Haley didn't answer your question, which is about looking at families in the eye. In the last debate, she made fun of me for actually joining TikTok while her own daughter was actually using the app for a long time. So you might want to take care of your family first. Leave my daughter out of your you voice. Your adult daughter. The next generation of Americans are using it. And that's actually the point. You have her supporters crapping her up. That's fine. Here's the truth. You're just the easy scum. answer is actually to say. This fellow 
they've nominated claims he's the new Thomas Jefferson. Well, let me tell you something. I knew Thomas Jefferson. <laughs> He was a friend of mine. <laughs> and Governor, you're no Thomas Jefferson. I like President Bush. Even, and we do a lot of speeches together, and I like it when we have disagreements. He's disarmingly direct. We were having an argument over health care in one of these speeches, and I went on about the German health care system. And he said, I don't know a thing about the German health care system. <laughs> I think he probably won the argument. The president had available to him intelligence from all elements of the government. Mm -hmm. And the National Security Council members had that information. It was all shared. It was all supplied. And it's never certain if, if it were Intelli if it were a fact, it wouldn't be called intelligence. Do you think President Trump, Mr. Trump, is closer to picking his VP, and should you be on that list? Oh, you know, that's the question everyone asks. And no, I don't think Nikki Haley should be on the list. Uh, but of course, President Trump will choose who he wants for VP. Would you like to be on that list? He's got a long list. I support President Trump in any way, any way he'd ask me. Um, but I can assure you, it won't be Nikki Haley. And can you tell me why so many people that support Donald Trump love conspiracy theories, including yourself. He seems to attract lots of conspiracy theorists. Well, let me tell you, you're a conspiracy theorist, and the left and the media spreads more conspiracy theories. We like the truth. We like supporting our Constitution, our freedoms, and America first. So, What about no, Jewish space that, lasers? No, tell us about Jewish space no, lasers. No, why don't, you, why don't you go talk about Jewish space lasers, and really, why don't you f off? How about that? I'm Thanks. Really Thank you very much. That's a wind that you don't predict like you do a tornado and it just crops up and 150 miles long and 30 miles wide it destroyed 855,000 acres of corn laid it flat and if it was mature you still couldn't harvest it so most of it was plowed under S senator's time has expired My time's up already <laughs> well i'd like to i'd like to have it considered please I heard you right in your responses to other questions. You do feel very strongly that every American should have safe uh, access to the vote. And I, I, for one, hope that every registered voter in this country vote on November 11th. That may be a, a stretch goal, but do you agree with that? Of course, yes. For the record, Election Day is November 3rd not November 11th. What are the five freedoms of the First Amendment? Speech, religion, press, assembly, speech, press, religion, assembly. I don't know, what am I missing? Redress or protest. Okay. Mr. Herman, which items had you signed up for today? Mr. Herman, which item said you signed up for? Okay, so we're just going to start your clock. So we hear that we need more alcohol in CD13, like we need more drugs on our street, more fentanyl, and more queers and faggots getting drunk and high. Hi, Mr. Reedy. Which items had you signed up for today? Oh, fuck you, City Attorney Fabo. What does it say in the, what does it say in the machine? Sorry, what? What does it say in the machine? I don't know. Why don't you just tell me? So what's the point of signing up and signing up for these, so these Mr. items? So, Mr. Reedy, I don't know why you're being hostile for no reason. Oh, I'll hostile just tell for you, no reason? The items you know that are why open I'm being for, hostile? Mr. Mr. Reedy, just listen. The you know why I'm are, being hostile? Public comment. One minute. Start my fucking minute. Go ahead. So, Mr. Spidler, which items had you signed up for today? 
For Eureka? Yes. Um, all the goddamn fucking items in general comment. <laughs> so that'll be... It's like black and brown on this float. And then there's this, this white guy with a little black kid who's misbehaved. The kid's bouncing off the effing walls on the float, practically <laughs> tipping it over. There's nothing you can do to control him. Translation, little monkey. They're raising him like a little white kid, which I was like, this kid is a beat down. Like, let me, let me take him around the corner and then I'll bring him back. Last night I tell you to watch that thing on television. I'm dying as I did. Yeah. To see those, those monkeys from those African countries. Damn them, they're still uncomfortable wearing shoes. <laughs> You can't go to heaven if you hate anybody. We practice that. There are white niggers. I've seen a lot of white niggers in my time. I'm going to use that word. But we've all, we all, we just need to work together to make our country better ground. And I just soon quit talking about it so much. Now, after our conversation Friday, I went back to visit with Senator Byrd, and he said, there is a term I used in our discussion of race relations that people may misconstrue. As a matter of that opinion, say aye. Aye! Of the contrary, no. Aye! 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 Order! Order! Aye! Order! Order, let me explain for the clarification of the House that this is the provisional point, which is the provisional question which is asked at this stage, and that all members will have the opportunity, having heard the debate in detail, to vote on each of these motions next Tuesday, the 12th of March, at the end of the budget debate. I would hesitate to have a division at this point when the House and the world is awaiting the response from the Leader of the Opposition. So I am I'm going to put this motion again. And if it is very clear to me, if it is very clear to me that the eyes have more votes than the nose, I will take it on the voices. The question is, the question is, no, I don't need a point of order, thank you. We're in the middle of a division. The question is that, pursuant to Section 5 of the Provisional Collection of Taxes Act, as I said a few moments ago, as many as are of that opinion say aye. aye. Of the contrary, no. no. Division. 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 Clear the lobby. The eyes to the right, 288. The nose to the left, 38. <laughs>